Reducing our emissions is also about reducing the most profligate use that we have, that we make of energy, and so um, of um, the biggest amount of CO2 emissions, garble, garble. And that includes, in particular, the way we emit most carbon quickest is by flying. So here to talk about aviation is, um, we're very happy to have John Stewart from Haycan. Well, thank you very much indeed. Now we're going to do this one a little bit differently. We're going to do aviation policy in just three minutes, but not just me, all of us. So when you hear a phrase or a word that you like, you cheer. When you hear a phrase or a word that you don't like, you boo. Okay? So we're going to cheer. And we're going to boo. Okay. Right, the first one I think will probably be a cheer. 18 months ago, the government scrapped the third runway at Heathrow. But, but the aviation industry was very upset. They never ever before had experienced such a big setback. And then it got even worse for them. The Labour Party decided it didn't want a third row at Heathrow either. But they fought back. They spoke to their friend the Mayor, Mr Johnson. with an idea called Boris Island. Now Boris Island would have four runways. Peace Row with three runways would have been the biggest single emitter of CO2 in the country. Just think what Boris Island would do. We're getting quite good at this, and, I'm, uh, and I, I forgot what I'm going to say next, so you can just cheer. Grow a Boris Island. <laughs> the the industry, the aviation industry, will undoubtedly continue to fight back, and there's no doubt that they persuaded George Osborne to say would now see all options except the third runway at Heathrow as back on the agenda. The next six months are going to be critical because the government will be coming out with uh, a draft aviation policy in March and so the next six months we do need to lobby very hard indeed. Not just for a sensible aviation policy in this country but so that this country, a rich country, doesn't uh, emit even more CO2 on the poorer countries of the world. Because one last fact for you. It is the rich people in the rich countries who fly the most. This is the fact. Only 5% of the world's population have ever flown. That's even less than the 7% on the placards. Only 5% of the world's population have ever flown. It's that 5% who are the cli climate criminals. Hey.